Minister. Start included the member for McMahon. Thanks, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Can the Treasurer confirm that when Labor said Western Australia wasn't getting their fair share of the GST, the government denied it and then accepted it? When we said the GST floor needed to be legislated, the government ignored it and then agreed to it. And then when we called for that legislation to ensure that no state or territory is left worst off, the government rejected it, but today accepted it. The Treasurer has the call. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, I'm glad to report to the House that it is a Liberal and National government that is delivering a fairer and more sustainable GST, Mr. Speaker. And that those opposite did nothing. Nothing with six years in when they were in office. Now the member for McMahon, the member for McMahon, he's had four positions. He's had four positions. The member for McMahon's first position was we want to top up Western Australia, but we don't want any broader changes. That was his first position. Don't change the formula. He's, don't change the formula. Remember that was his first position. His second position was that he supports the government's proposal. He wants to support us, legislating. That was welcome. Then his third position was, I'm not so sure about this. I might take a step back. His fourth position was, I want more information. Now, Mr. Speaker, the best though, and I have to say, David Spears is always pretty good for an interview. The best was David Spears' interview with the member for McMahon on the 8th of July. And, the mem and David member Spears asked him about the GST. He couldn't give an answer ten times. Ten times he was asked for a straight answer on the GST. So David Spears said about Labor's position on the GST, he said, how quickly are you going to work through this, member for McMahon? Well, constructive criticism, David, is our position. I'll repeat that. Constructive criticism, David, is our position, Mr. Speaker. Now, the Labor Party, the Labor Party took no action when they were in government. We, on the other hand, led by the then Treasurer and now Prime Minister, came up with a policy reform that is now being supported by states and territories, which will avoid a repeat of the situation where Western Australians only got 30 cents in the dollar, That's right. and will ensure a much more fairer and sustainable system, which will leave every state and territory better off. We're putting more than $9 billion to the states and territories. We're legislating a floor at 75 cents in the dollar. We're equalising to the stronger of Victoria and New South Wales, and we're ensuring that all Australians, regardless of their postcode, are better off under the Liberal and National Party's reform to the GST.